Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Draco stole airplane is extensively damaged after departing from Reno. Redbird Skyport shuts down. And U Avionics receives FAA STC for tail beacon ADSB out solution. Welcome. I'm Sophie Herlock, a PZL-104 Draco turbine Wilga belonging to Mike Patey was substantially damaged departing from Reno Stead Airport in Nevada on Monday. The airplane ground looped during its takeoff roll at KRTS. The pilot was attempting to depart before a weather front arrived at the airport and the winds were picking up, reaching as high as 40 knots with a major crosswind component. He said the left wing lifted during takeoff and the aircraft swerved off the right side of the runway, coming down hard and causing a wing to collapse. Luckily, Peyti, his wife Chandra, and another passenger were not injured in the accident. In a video posted soon after the crash, Peyti stated, Where I was in the back country, we need 25 feet in the wind like we have today, not even that. And uh, instead, I kind of asked the tower if I could kind of crab a little bit to the runway and take off a little bit to the wind because it was a direct crosswind of the runway we were departing from. And uh, kind of felt like I was doing something wrong. Definitely was my fault. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Un einem globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Have any story suggestions for this, any of our other programming or website? Then send an email to news by at arrow news.net. Now let's take a quick look at some interesting news flying out of the aviation industry and today's trip around the patch. The U.S. Air Force has named the Boeing TX the T-7A Red Hawk in honor of the Tuskegee Airmen who flew the red-tailed P-51 Mustang in World War II. The aircraft will train the next generation of U.S. Air Force pilots for decades to come, as well as provide the Air Force with a flexible design that can adapt when change is needed for technology and training. The FAA has posted temporary flight restrictions for two locations around Area 51 in anticipation of the Storm the Area 51 event. The southern end of the test and training range will have a TFR in effect from tomorrow until Monday the 23rd, prohibiting any flight up to 18,000 feet. The second TFR will be near the town of Rachel, Nevada, where a music festival called Alien Stock is supposed to be taking place. The TFR will only go up to 7,000 feet and is in effect from today until Monday the 23rd. Third. The Blue Angels are scheduled to headline the Great State of Maine Air Show on August 15th through the 16th in 2020 at Brunswick Airport. As one of only 32 cities that hosts the team, this will be the Blue Angels' first New England show since 2017 and their only New England appearance of the 2020 season. Mike Stefanik, one of two drivers in NASCAR history to win nine national series or touring championships, died at the age of 61. When the Aerolite 103 he was flying crashed on Sunday, Stefanik took off from Rikon Airport in Rhode Island, and he was returning to land when he went down in a wooded area near the airport. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. The Sling 2, a modern economical flight training airplane for today's pilots. 120 knot crews, sporty handling, sliding bubble canopy, modern glass panel, and dependable Rotax power. Available in LSA or kit versions. 
Check it out at AirplaneFactory.com. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. As of September 14th, Redbird Skyport FBO of San Marcos, Texas has shut down according to Redbird's Jerry Gregoire. According to Gregoire, the business was simply not profitable. In its eight years of operation, the Skyport has never made a dime. Had it not been for the Redbird Flight Simulator's explosive growth and profitability over those years, the Skyport might have found itself in deep trouble very early on. The demise of the Skyport is the result of some poorly informed decisions and miscalculations on my part, made long before the project ever broke around, stated Gregoire. He also cited problems with the local city decision makers and other issues, but he was clear the business simply did not meet expectation. Gregoire also added to you private pilots, charter pilots, and pilots flying corporate aircraft out there who taxi to an FBO to use the bathroom, drink the free coffee, borrow the crew car, and meet your passengers in the customer lounge, then fly away without buying a single gallon of fuel. Your thoughtlessness will now be rewarded with ever fewer companies competing for your business. The FAA has issued STC approval to U Avionics for its tail beacon integrated rear position light ADS-B out solution. Much like Sky Beacon, the tail beacon has been optimized for ease of installation times of less than one hour, including documentation. Tail Beacon employs an initial STC for single aircraft type, with follow-on installations to be conducted using the ADS-B policy memo. The FAA memo titled Installation Approval for ADS-B Out Systems explains that after an initial STC is achieved for ADS-B Out equipment, additional installations can be accomplished on aircraft not listed on the AML by an A&P with inspection authorization, so long as the installation does not require airframe modification. This blanket approval requires only completion of a two-page FAA form 337 with no authorizing signature. This is the same form and paperwork required if installed under the AML STL. Countless Sky Beacon customers have installed their equipment using this memo, and it is a great example of the FAA being progressive to limit certification delays and installation costs. Shipments of Tail Beacon will begin immediately. And that's all for us today, everyone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation aerospace news, just head over to aero-news.net. Thank you so much for watching and come back tomorrow for an episode of the AMA Drone Report.